Thank you very much. Um, it's, it's hard to follow a robot dog, but thank you so much, Pamela, for under, underlying exactly why connectivity is so important. Um, let's take a quick look at Panama. This is a, a picture of the world through the lens of connectivity. GIGA is an initiative that's UNICEF and ITU in partnership trying to connect every school in the world, which means trying to connect every young person to information, opportunity, and choice. We don't have a robot dog, but I will ask you to take out your phone during our presentation, hit that QR code, or go to projectconnect.world and find a country that you want to explore. Each of the dots on this map is a school. The red dots are schools with no connectivity at all. That's a part of the country, in this case Panama, where kids are excluded from a digital future. And it's not a small part at all. The green schools are schools that have connectivity. In those schools, you can see activities happening. You can see kids getting ready for the jobs of the future. And you can see them building the digital skills that they'll need to survive in the world to come. Gig has been around for about three years. And in these three years, we've helped to connect more than 7,000 schools, about 3 million young people to the internet. We'll do another 25,000 schools this year. And we're helping to reduce the prices of connectivity by almost 50% in many of the countries that we work in. The call to action is very simple, and the minister and I will ask you again at the end to join us, but help us find every school in the world. We don't know how many there are or where they are, and help us get them connected to the internet. This is all important work when it happens at a global level, but I'd like to also take the chance to dive into some of the work that's been happening in Sierra Leone, one of our lead countries in GIGA, and ask the minister to share her perspectives on the work of GIGA over the last several years. Minister. Um, thank you, Chris. So in Sierra Leone, working with ITU and UNICEF, we have been able to map the spatial location of all schools in the country. And we have been able to layer that um, with connectivity data, which kind of tells us the potential for connectivity. And when we did this, what this told us was, whilst 80% of the 11,200 schools we have in Sierra Leone were within 3G and 4G coverage, we only had 205 which were actually connected to the internet. Working with UNICEF and ITU, we have been able to increase and make good progress in increasing connectivity for schools, whilst also exploring different avenues for funding. And I'm happy to share that through our joint efforts, we were able to, the government of Sierra Leone was able to secure $5 million from the Islamic Development Bank, which we estimate will connect a further 1,000 schools. Um, in Sierra Leone, it is our vision that giga-connected schools will not, it will not just be able to provide better access to education for our young students, but it is our vision that they would also serve as a hub for communities, especially in rural areas which previously had limited or no access to internet connection. With the estimated impact on human capital development, youth and employment, as well as access to financing, it is estimated that there would be an increase on impact on our GDP of as much as 14%, thereby accelerating our progress towards achieving our 2030 development goals. We are delighted that our young people and our entrepreneurs would be able to access the world of opportunities available online. And Chris actually has an exciting um, news to share with all of you. Well, I have half of it, and then you'll, I guess, have the other half. Um, so this is a picture of the new Giga Technology Center in Barcelona. We're very proud to be hosted by both the government of Switzerland and the governments of Spain, Catalonia, and Barcelona. In the Technology Center, this is a picture from last week, we have about 20 nerds working on building open source solutions to answer that question of how do you find schools, how do you make sure they're connected, and how do you share that knowledge with the rest of the world. Giga is active in 29 countries now, with countries like Sierra Leone leading on developing the software, the connectivity, and the protocols to allow schools to come online and serve as the center for the community. And the, the Giga Center in Barcelona is now open for business. We're excited to bring government partners together to let them share what they're doing in their countries, and we help to facilitate those interactions. So this was last week, but Minister, maybe you can talk about what will happen sure. early next year. Um, I'm happy to share that our partnership with the Sierra Leone's partnership with Giga will continue, and that Sierra Leone will send its first five young developers to the Giga Con Technology Center by early next year. They will be working on open source connectivity projects with the Giga team, covering applications on mapping, data science, and blockchain-based accounting platforms. 
They will be at the center for several months to gain valuable skills, which we which they'll co-create with technology solutions that are useful in our context. The world is getting smaller, and we're delighted to grow our collaboration with Giga even further. Thank you. We are as well. Thank you all. Come and join us. Thanks. Help connect everyone. <laughs>